So you work hard, you make your money to buy this stuff. And all you get is a scam. I'm gonna tell you how to detect it and I'm gonna tell you how to avoid it right now. One stacker on a journey to find silver. Hey guys, International Stacker back here again. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you're not. 70% of you aren't. Smash the like, help me beat the YouTube algorithm and the censorship. And I'll say here, a stacker just sent me this package to help verify because he is worried that his coins are fake. So we're gonna open this up, we're gonna test it together, and I'm gonna give you really three of the biggest scams I've seen out there on the internet in terms of buying silver. And we're gonna test this, we're gonna get down to it. First off, I wanna shout out the Coldest Water Company for giving me this and sponsoring this video. There's a link in the description below where you can enter and win one for free. And you can also, another link where you can go to the store and buy stuff, and if you buy stuff, I get a kickback. So let me take a sip. Oh, that is cold water. And let's jump right into it. So. As I'm cutting this up, I'm gonna tell you a few different scams that I think a lot of people don't know, and especially with a lot of people getting into the silver um, into the silver market now. And first off, I wanna shout out this person. The person that sent me this test for him is a just another average stacker. You might know him, Jass, just another average stacker. Very cool channel, and he makes uh, all kinds of videos. Um, he pours silver. He um, coin roll hunts. He had a crazy find one time, and he made me this for free. If you don't know, C Y O T N O stands for catch you on the next one. See you guys. No, I'm kidding. It's at the end of all of my videos, and he made me this 6.909 ounces. So thank you very much for that, Jazz. And let's get into this, and then I'm going to give you guys some hints on some big scams while we do this. So here we go. Hey there, IS. It's Jazz looking for a bit of help. I recently received these two ASCs that just look a bit off to me in their finish. They weigh properly, diameter is correct, and they ping properly, but I was wondering if you'd be willing to throw them into the Mega Gong, give them away to some, no, I'm kidding. Throw them onto the Sigma uh, for me. Appreciate all you do for the community. Sincerely, just another average stacker. Ladies and gentlemen, go sub this man now. Oh, and by the way, I made his logo for him. Did I? No, I didn't make his logo. What did I make for him? Did I make your logo for you, Jazz? I can't even remember. I've made logos for a bunch of people in the community. Maybe I did it. I might have stolen Valor. So we're gonna cut this open, but a, a few quick hints right here I wanna tell you about. The first big scam out there while I open this is this happens on eBay, and I've seen it a few other places where they'll sell you silver by the ounce, OZ, instead of the Troy ounce, OZT. When you're talking coins, gold and silver bullion, anything, you're always buying by the troy ounce. Why does that matter? One ounce of silver is only 0.91 troy ounces. So if you buy it by the ounce, OZ, you are actually getting shorted almost a tenth of silver. I've seen the same thing with pound versus troy pounds. So especially on eBay and other places, some places will sell coins by the pound, right? If you ever see Troy Pound, it's another scam. One Troy Pound is only equal to 0.82 um, two, uh, of a real pound. So if they sell you a Troy Pound, you're getting shorted almost uh, two tenths of a, a real pound. Okay. I'm guessing I don't need gloves for these. Let's just take a look at these. Wow. Um. So I'll tell you right off the bat, I know what you mean about the finish. If these are real, somebody like shined them or maybe even... It looks like someone shined them really hard with something. So I had another viewer who ended up getting fake silver eagles. And this is what a fake one looks like. Okay, so he sent me these, sent these uh, to me to test and show you guys. So I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna test these, but first off, another number two scam I wanna warn you all about is especially on eBay and other places, read the description. Sometimes in the title they'll say 925 silver or 999 silver, then when you look in the description, it will say plated. 
There's also a type of silver out there and I completely forget the name. I tried to Google it, I couldn't find it. So if you know it, put it in the description below and I will pin your comment. There's a type of silver that they'll advertise that is fake, meaning it's plated or it's only like 10% actual silver. I wanna say it's like Madagascar silver or Baghdad silver. It's just a certain name they put in front of the silver and people get tricked thinking it's actual 999 silver or pure silver and it's not. So that's number two. And then the third scam while I start this up, and yes, we are going to test it, um, and i got to calibrate this, is social media. Right now, social media is running crazy with scams. And what they do is they steal videos from people like myself, ugh, Yankee Stacking, Silver Dragons, like a lot of the big names on YouTube, they, they uh, steal their um, videos and they'll put them on Instagram, they'll put them on everywhere, and they'll advertise it like it's their videos and use it to sell scams. If you stack gold and silver and your family knows, tell them if they ever wanna buy you a gift to tell them because what they see on social media is gonna be a scam. These fake eagles are being sold all the time out of China and they'll be like $10 under spot, guys. If it's too good to be true, it, the, the normal saying is, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. With coins, gold, and silver, it always is, okay? So tips, you want to buy from reputable dealers. If you're buying private, you need to have a way, um, and let me change this to pure. You need to have a way to check your coins, like a Sigma, Metalytics, Verifier Pro. You can get these on eBay. Um, also, look at the shipping location. If it's shipping out of China or some random Southeast Asian country, someplace overseas, that's an issue. Okay, let's go here. Let's fix the weight. Now, I'm going to take a poll. Let me know right now in the comments. Do you think these are real? Or do you think these are fake? I mean, the finish definitely looks suspect, but I feel like someone cleaned them. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's checking out good. It's in the yellows. You want it the green or the yellows, but see, if we're sketched out about that, we could actually measure it. See, it's round. It's supposed to gently kiss each line, which that one is. So let's go back here, let's check the second one. And that's checking good too. Now let me show you, let's go ahead and measure that one. Let me show you what a, uh, whoops. I pulled that one out too early. Okay, measure, there we go. Let's go ahead, yep, that works too, and show you what a fake one looks like. This is what a fake silver eagle or any fake coin is going to look like. It's going to be hardcore into the red. So again, when we're checking silver, we want it to be in the green or the yellow. If it's in the yellow, not a big deal. A lot of silver is. Um, if it's in the yellow, I just always measure it. If it's in the green, sometimes I still measure it. But again, if it's fake, it's hardcore like you just saw. And see, the sketchy thing is with gold gold is, um, if you have bigger coins, you can put tungsten in or bars. It can be like almost like right on the border. You're like, is it good or not? But when you go to measure it, it will totally be out of whack. But there's some gold even that's not out of whack. So, I mean, there's some really good fakes out there. You got to be careful. So how do you avoid, avoid the fakes? Buy reputable online bullion companies, um, coin shops that do test, see, testing that have one of these or they have even better an XRF uh, x-ray gun um, avoid shipping locations in Shanghai, China anywhere in Southeast Asia really a lot, really you don't want to buy uh, uh, you know South America like a bunch of places where fakes could be funneled through okay if you follow those hints you should be safe now as you get more uh, embedded or deeper into that journey um you can start to buy private, which is what I started to do. I started out only reputable, then I did private, but you gotta have a way to test. So again, one one uh, poor man's way to test is pinging. And there's actually an app you can download on your phone. It unfortunately is only for Android, but it can tell you, so let's ping it. And here's what a faker sounds like. See, these actually ping decently. These actually ping decently. 
but when you're talking actual silver, and the tones are going to be different between pure and 90%, but listen to the resonation. Listen to how long it goes for. See how long that resonates for? I'm not going to lie, I'm not used to pinging eagles, <laughs> so it sounds weird to me. I'm used to pinging 90%. Um, yeah. Now here's a couple fake Morgans. Two of them I bought. One of them I caught. Um, and I told the guy and he refunded me. The other one I found in my stack. So out of like, at the time I had like a couple thousand ounces. I only bought one piece of fake silver. That's pretty good. So here's what a fake Morgan sounds like. Hear that? Or this one's even worse. So you can tell a lot with pinging, but he pinged him. He was happy with it. He measured the diameter. He was happy with it. It checked okay on my Sigma. I'm not going to lie. The ping sounds kind of strange to me, but that's because I'm used to 90%. But I mean, it's resonating. It's going. So Jazz, I think what you got here is a genuine, a couple genuine uh, eagles. This one's a... 1987 this one's a 1987 but i think what happened is the person cleaned it maybe they cleaned it with like some sort of silver cleaning material or it almost reminds me of someone cleaning something with brass so honestly so anyways congratulations jess they're good and um yeah good luck getting them back now they're in my hoard just kidding i'm gonna send that back to just another average stacker please go to his channel drop a comment and tell him you just saw you just saw his video on my channel and you know check him out you like him throw him a subscribe or at least a like very cool guy and it would only be fitting if i ended this with his silver bar so i guess i'll say oh that was jacked so i guess i'll say or maybe i should do it like a movie oh here we go so i guess i'll say end of scene catch you on the next one Deck.